Hey, good morning, Facebook world. Sorry about the glare. I'll try to hide from it a little bit. Um, I'm getting ready to head out on a trip on to the Valley Springs Christian Camp. I'm going to be doing some speaking up there and hanging out uh, with some good people. Wanted to give you a couple thoughts, though, for your weekend um, as we begin it here this Friday morning. Um, you know, I, a lot of times when you're watching the news, you'll see two different types of news stories. You'll see news stories about violence. You'll sh see news stories about, you know, um, evil things that are done in the world, crimes that are committed. But then you'll also see stories about, you know, people that have done good deeds, people that reached out and helped others in times of need. You know, I'm thinking about that Waffle House shooting in Nashville that just happened a, a little while ago and how there's a story about the evil thing that was done there. But at the same time, there's some stories of, of heroism that have come out of people that have reached out and tried to help and someone who tried to stop the shooter and, and how great that was. And what's so neat about those stories of people that do these acts of kindness during these difficult situations is that they stand in contrast to the world around them. When someone is doing something kind in the middle of an unkind world, that causes us to pay attention. And I'm reminded of what Jesus did in Mark chapter 2. And this has always been something, I sorry, Mark chapter 1. This has always been a story that stood out to me, not so much because of the miracle that Jesus did, but because of how he did this miracle. In Mark chapter 1, and starting in verse 40, it talks about a man with leprosy coming to Jesus. If you're not familiar with leprosy, your homework assignment as you turn off this video is Google it. Not a real nice disease. Kind of scary, kind of gross. It wasn't a disease you wanted to be around. In fact, people with leprosy usually were kept outside of the city. Even in our more recent time, were kept in different colonies. Well, in Mark chapter four, um, 1, verse 40, it says, And a leper came to Jesus beseeching him and falling on his knees before him and saying, If you are willing, you can make me clean. Moved with compassion, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said, I am willing, be cleansed. And immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. Pretty amazing that Jesus healed him. But what's amazing to me is that this man with leprosy, this man who probably hadn't received any kind of kindness or love or affection or attention from people in a long time, Jesus reached out and touched that man when he healed him. You know, there's a lot of times there's people out there that we don't want to be around, people that make us uncomfortable. I imagine in the first century, people with leprosy would have been like that. But Jesus was so kind, Jesus was so compassionate that he was willing to reach out and touch that man. The Roman Empire wasn't a real kind empire. That society wasn't the most kind society. But Jesus was willing to touch that man. My advice to us today is simply this. In an unkind world, be kind like Jesus. Thanks for tuning in. Have a blessed weekend.